press the button. And away we go. Ahoy! Here we are, guys and gals! Adventure Academy. Once we get through the main gate, you'll see our very own airstrip. Many missions require the use of quick air travel from the time we get the call. Past those trees... Get a call, like on the bat phone? No, not like on the bat phone. We have an ordinary phone for emergencies. No similarities, it's not even red. So. Now that we've passed the trees, you can see our very own aircraft. I guess our helicopter is out on a mission. All right, students, if we can have our passes at the ready, we will be exiting the bus in just a moment. Please do not touch anything unless you are otherwise advised. Is that understood? Carl? Huh? Everyone keep your hands to yourselves. Adventure Academy has items that shouldn't be touched. And there went the beast. All right, folks, up we get. As you pass the gentleman, show him your badges. He'll scan them and then proceed to the front door. Carl, is your pass ready? <laughs> is your pass ready? We're going to go into this lecture hall. When you have a question, make a note of it and save it for the end of the introduction to Adventure Academy. We're going to Dude, walk. the school has simulators? It's a dick! Lecture hall is this way, students! Now that we're all here, get settled in. Professor Watson will be here any moment. Carl, you can put your book bag at your side. I assure you, no one will touch it. While we're waiting, after we're done here, we will be taking a tour, followed by a mission of our very own. We'll have you separated into groups of three. We'll just go ahead and divide you into teams. Make it a competition of sorts. You three, you three, and you three. Good morning, students. You like that, huh? <laughs> if you did, get used to it. Expect the unexpected. Here at Adventure Academy, we are immune to surprises, since they are so incredibly frequent. We are always on our toes, and we will always insist that you are too. You may be asked at any moment to rescue a princess in the Middies, fight a cyclops in Madagascar, or even protect a banshee in the Andromeda Galaxy. <laughs> These are all missions we at Adventure Academy have done within the past month. So, surprises aren't allowed to surprise us. Roll with the punches and prepare to conquer anything that stands in the way of our mission. Our missions could happen in 10 minutes, 40 days from now, or 600 years ago. 600 years? <clears throat> That's right, 600 years ago. We've altered history and missions. You know how everyone says that to go back into time, you could unintentionally alter history? We do it all the time. Okay, maybe not all the time. We definitely keep that to a minimum, but we do have missions that require us to tweak little things here and there. We've had someone who fought alongside Alexander the Great, a pirate... Privateer. ...who became a pirate, uh, whatever. We've even had students who have gone into the not-so-distant future. What I'm trying to tell you kids is that the world is our oyster. Crack it open with a knife and suck all the meat out of it. Uh, I'm a vegan. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's one in every group. This isn't the point. We have opportunities all around us to learn, and we must be ready for it. I feel like I'm going in circles with this. Okay, so there are classes in this academy. You need to explore the academy. Decide if it's something that you want to do. Once you're enrolled, there is no dropping out. You are here until you graduate. The only way out early is death. I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs> there isn't a boring moment in this institution. We like to have fun. And when there's downtime, you will be permitted to do nearly anything you want. But hear this. 
If you sign up at the end of the day, you will be held accountable only to Adventure Academy. Make an informed decision. Ask current students, get a feeling for what you'd get yourself into. But don't make a decision that you won't want to live with three years down the road. You are all here because you were chosen. In case you didn't realize it before, you were approached. You didn't know about this school until a couple weeks ago. And, if you don't want to be enrolled here, that document you signed earlier gave us permission to wipe your memory that here ever existed. Make the right decision for you, but I assure you, once you see what we're all about, you're going to have a real hard time saying no. Any questions? Mr. Watson. Sorry, gotta go. Have fun. That was all the time Professor Watson had. All right, kids, we go to the next room. This is a personal favorite of mine. Grab your stuff and file on this way. You're listening to Mercury Theater Podcast. Today's episode, we get to tour the catalyst for so many adventures, Adventure Academy, with other students who are considering enrolling. Would you sign up, or would you opt for the mind erasure? If you enjoy what you're about to hear, stick around to hear how you can support future episodes of Mercury Theater Podcast. So as we sneak back into our tour at the Academy, don't turn that dial. Meals are provided three times daily in the hall to our left, Farkasin Hall. Gourmet meals, including meals made from foods not native to Earth. Let that sink in a second. Our chefs are gathering foods from all over the world and the universe. Any dietary restrictions were already taken into consideration before you were ever recommended to attend Adventure Academy. It was part of the drug test you took for eligibility. Let's all go into this room here. Dr. Watson will be explaining the purpose of this class. This was my favorite class when I attended this school. Good morning, students. I'm Dr. Watson. You are sitting in Artifact Retrieval 102. Here you will learn how to distinguish the difference between an ancient relic and a recent artifact. Nobody wants to get Isn't you. he the professor hey, from the last class? Yeah. Well, he's wearing different clothes. <clears throat> Here, you will not be issued textbooks. In fact, you will be issued one of these, a bullwhip. And you will also receive these, a leather jacket and a full-brimmed hat. These will help you be more efficient in your quests to finding ancient artifacts lost to history. From Egypt, Peru, Nepal, and beyond. This class will prepare you to find exactly what you're looking for based on nondescript maps, whether from the branding on a human hand or even a simple X written on a crude parchment. Unlike a towel, your bullwhip will truly keep you prepared for any situation that arises. I would love to take questions at this time, but I cannot. Gotta go. If you'll grab your stuff, we will go into the next class. We get to learn about magical application. Good morning, students. You are sitting in Magic 101. You're probably wondering, too, if I'm the only person here. I promise you that I am not the only educator on staff, but I am the introductory professor. I know a lot about all the classes, but I am here to tell you about the classes. I don't teach them. Far more knowledgeable professors will help you throughout your training here. If we can proceed, here in Magic 101 you will learn all sorts of certain magics. Magic does not mean good, nor does it mean bad. It is simply magic. You will determine for yourselves what differentiates good from bad on your own. White magic and black magic are constructs. In Philosophy 103, you can discuss the definitions of good versus bad with the hack Professor Whitaker. What we teach you here isn't for the professors to determine, but rather for the student, you, to determine. In this class, you will learn primarily Latin. This can give you... Follow me! Come along! Don't be alarmed, you are in Adventure Academy. Don't be surprised by anything. Got a jacket, a hat, and bull with the souvenirs. That's right, here you go. Thank you, thank you, young man. Come with me, students. We're going to go into this room. What's going on? Don't worry. This is just a drill. Like he said, always expect the unexpected. We'll just stay in this room until we're given the green light to continue our tour. Oh, this way. Come with me. Don't be alarmed. This happens like... Oh.
all the time. Here, right here. Go in. Three seats to a ship. Get in according to your assigned groups. Get in. I'll be right behind you. If I'm not there 30 minutes after landing, get to safety. Strap in. You in front. Hit that green button. just happened? It's nothing. This is all just part of the tour. They get us in factions, and then we make it back to the academy. She said it would be some sort of competition. We find out what our mission is, we do that. We make it back, and bam, we're the winners. Let's keep cool and just make it back. Our acceptance may be determined on our return, so let's take it serious. But let's not buy into this bull either. Deal? I don't know. I am freaked out. I'm terrified, actually. I agree with him. What are the chances we'd have to leave the Academy in a rocket with no windows and land in a foreign country? Planet? Planet. You think we could be on a new planet? I studied astrophysics, and the likelihood of landing on a strange planet able to breathe the air is practically zero. Technically, it is in the zeros. And... I'm breathing air. Huh. Smells floral. Like... Honeysuckle? Reminds me of my grandparents' place. You're smelling honeysuckle? I'm getting a... Barbecue? Like my dad would make on the weekends. Burgers. Ugh, I wish I could have a hamburger. See guys? It's all a ruse. They're messing with our olfactory systems, using our own memories against us. Against us? Yeah. Hey, didn't you say you were vegan, Nicole? If you're so smart, what's our mission? I don't know. If this is a mission, this now qualifies as the worst mission ever. Hey, I found something you might like. Huh? What, what's going on? Adora just found something in the ship thingy. It's a case. I think these are maps. They have... They have numbers. One through three. What do you think these numbers are? I, I don't know. Tell me when you've got something. I, I'm tired, guys. I don't know how you can sleep at a time like this. I'll take the third shift. Feel? Deal. Look, I noticed our ship has the number three on it. Maybe the other ships had one and two. That could explain why the maps are numbered one to three. I guess. What else would we have to work with? Then let's look at map number three. It has LZ in the center. Landing zone. LZ is for landing zone. Okay, we're on to something now. That could mean we're here, in the middle of nowhere, in a forest. Checks out so far. Hey, what are those? Hmm? Oh! Huh. I don't know. A key. Well, keys to the maps. Hey! Paul! Wake up! We think we got something. Why? I kind of feel like he's just holding us back. Should just let him sleep next time. We found a key to the map. I... I think. The map was locked? No, dummy. A key like an explanation. It looks like there's a castle in that direction. Which way is that direction? There's no north-south explanation. Our compass doesn't seem to work either. The sunset in that direction. I bet that means that way is east, and most maps are drawn north at the top. We can only work with assumptions, so I propose we go that way, to the castle. But what if our mission is to get the rocket back to the academy? Okay, I'm still not convinced this is a mission. The guide's face was terrified. It has to be. It... it has to be. Right? 
For sure. Let's just proceed, and worst case scenario, we return back here. There's not a mission for us at the castle. I guess we're just hoping this is the right map. And the right coordinates. Do you have any better ideas, Adora? Nope. Let's just fight the dragon. Come along, peasants. Uh, Could we not right now? Let's grab some of the food from the rocket, a flashlight, and let's get on with this. How much further do you think? Dude, you're not that person, are you? You're the dude. I'm just asking. After an hour, I was for sure we'd see a castle by now. Or at least a village or some... Well, I'll be. Just in time, too. Really need to hit the head. Let's find the restroom in the castle. Well, bad news. As I was saying it, I heard it. You two go on ahead, I'll catch up. You heard her. Let's go. The castle reminds me of the one of the Disney movies. New Schwanstein was the original one. That one's in Germany. You think we're in Germany? No. No, no, no. This one's in a valley. That one's up in the mountains. Huh. It looks like a village outside a castle, all right. Yeah. What did you expect? A village outside a castle, sure. But the pitchforks are made from branches. The haystacks are, hey, stacks. They're not rolled. It looks like we took the rocket to the 1400s. We're not in Kansas. No! I hate it when people say that. We cross into Missouri, and every single time somebody says that line, every time, just no. Whoa. Touchy. Guys, we're not in 2024 anymore. We straight up left Kansas for the Middle Ages. For the love of Pete. What? What happened? Nothing. Yeah. I'm starting to think we were in a time machine. Or landed on another planet where civilization is 600 years behind us. Occam's razor doesn't prepare us for two terribly unlikely situations. I'm telling you. It's a test. This is the most likely situation we saw for ourselves. The school uses simulations, like in that classroom. What simulation have you ever been in where you could walk miles and miles and... What's that? What's what? That scratch on your face. I got it from a branch a mile back. Exactly. What kind of simulation has that kind of technology? (laughs) Obviously Adventure Academy? When you convince yourself of it, you let us know. I'm already convinced. We're probably on some sort of holodeck right now, and under observation. You probably, you know, on the floor right over there, and and people saw you do it. Oh, gross. What? I wasn't going to tell you to hold it in indefinitely. It's wrong on so many levels. Let's just get to the castle. What kind of sorcery do you bring here in the middle of the night? Oh, uh, I apologize. Uh, we, we didn't see you there. Uh, we are simply passing through on our way to the castle. What kind of business brings warlocks to our lands? We're coming to see whoever's in charge. Oh, we love Lord Jojella. She's our favorite leader. She lives in the castle, and we could not ask for a better lord. Did you say Lord Jojoa? I did. Thank you. Guys, let's head on. Begging your pardon? Don't mind us. Enjoy the rest of your midnight. Certainly. Do you know Lord Jojella? Jojella was a story my dad always told me to get me to behave. He'd punish her and I'd behave. That doesn't make sense. How can you punish a story? She was my make-believe sister, not a real person. Or maybe it is. What did your dad do for work? I don't know what he did when I was a kid. Uh, He's a computer programmer now. He never did talk of work back then, come to think of it. Any reason to suspect he attended Adventure Academy? Until now, I never had any reason to suspect he even knew of Adventure Academy. Now, uh, I am intrigued. Let's go. They just... 
leave the gates open overnight? I guess we've come in a time of peace. It's not uncommon to leave the bridge down. Darn. Where would we find Lord Jojella? She resides in the West Tower. That one. She comes to the square in the morning if you want to see her. Good thing we're not here to do her any harm. I guess we'll see her in the morning then. Thank you, guard. What are you doing? Shh, 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 shh. We get out of earshot before we go spouting off our plans. We're not waiting for the other teams to win. We're going to find a way to get up that tower. Yes! Come on. Let's find a way in. The slit. And the wall over there. I can fit in it. I'll open the door for you guys. Just help me up. <laughs> Thanks! Sweet. Good thing this place isn't Fort Knox. Let's get to the top. <sighs> you ever been in a lighthouse? Yeah, down at Hunting Island, South Carolina. Why? At least, at least they have the decency. Oh, oh boy, to add levels oh, for breaks. This is at least twice high. At least we don't have to bring the oil to the top like they did. Take, uh, take a breather. I can hear you outside my door. What is your business with me so late at night? What do we say? We don't even know why we're here. Well, oh, what attire are you wearing? We're sorcerers? What? I don't know, just go with it. Oh, are you now? Come in, you made it this far. I may as well be hospitable. Wait, how are we supposed to let the listeners know that Jojella is the patron chosen name of a character? Don't look at me. I don't know. We could break the fourth wall and let the listener know. Kind of like a PSA or something. That would be ridiculous. Maybe I could drop it in the dialogue that I'm a patron named character somehow. That might just work. And it did just work. Are you Jojella? They call me Lord Jojella here. Are you sorcerers? Yeah, we're- No. No, we're not sorcerers. But I think you already know that. Did you know my father? That didn't take you long to realize. Uh, what's going on? Find a way out. Don't you want a taste of your dad's own medicine? I thought you were imaginary. I still think you're imaginary. Guys, find a way out. How did you find that? Oh, never mind that. Let's go. You can't outrun me. Now let's jump on the door. We'll slide down the stairs. Hold on! I'm everywhere, Nicole. Everywhere! Who was that? What? I said, who was that? She was an imaginary person and suffered my consequences as a kid. We came a really far way up, didn't we? Huh? We went a good deal up these stairs, didn't we? Look out! <laughs> I said, I'm everywhere. I didn't know you were real. I bore all your punishments, Nicole. Did you not think it strange that you got away with murder while your imaginary sister got locked in the attic? It's not a bar jump down. Into the boat! You'll always run, Nicole, but I'll be right there now that I know you're alive. Hey, I found something. Yep, the shore, it's heavy. Oh yeah, it's from the ship all right. Okay, but what is it? It's, it's a part from the ship. It must have fallen off when we flew overhead. Let's get to the ship, see if we can shove it on and get back to Adventure Academy. Jojella seems able to follow us everywhere around here. Here, let's put it on this. And drag it behind us. We'll take turns, since it's so heavy. That ought to do it. We'll stay attached to the ship, you think? Definitely. I used to build lawnmowers at home. Lawnmowers? 
Do you have any better ideas, Nikki? It's not my name. It's Nicole. Do we need anything else, ladies? Do you know how to fly this thing? Do you? I can give it a shot. You do that. Well, get in. We're waiting on you. I can't fit in the back. Fine. Coming in for a landing. It may be nothing wrong. Or not. I told you! Simulation! Well done, students. You're the second team to make it back. Dang! It's not that bad, guys. You did very well. It's not all about who finishes first, but which team caught all the clues first, who completed the mission to the fuller extent, etc. Jo Jella? You caught me. I'm Josephine Jella. What about my dad? Did he... Your dad? How is he? He used to be my classmate when we attended Adventure Academy. So he came to school here? Technically, I'm not supposed to tell you, so I won't. Oh, that sucks. Now you'll never know. Adora, he did come to school here. Oh, then why didn't anybody say so? So, what now? We reconvene in the Farkison Hall for food. I'm sure you're all famished. Did anyone want to share my squirrel jerky? There's no need for that, Adora. Follow me. Let's get you some real food. So, who beat us? Please tell me it wasn't Team 2. You remember that student, Carl? No! As Adora, I'm Kitten B. Trippin. As Nicole, I am Paige Elena. As Paul, I'm Landon Lawrence. As The Guide and Jojella, I am Bryn Curry. As Professor Watson, I'm Angelo Cruz. As The Peasant, I'm Robin Robbins. As Carl, I'm Chad Bell. If you're new to Mercury Theater Podcast, thanks for joining in and welcome. We strive to be designed with adults in mind, but edited so the kidlets won't hear something that they shouldn't. All the talent from the writing, the acting, the post-production, and everything in between is an unpaid labor of love. And all donations go towards production, upkeep, and rewards. This particular episode gives you a taste of what to expect with Mercury Theater Podcast, but these next couple episodes feature a very distinct learning curve. But rest assured that the content upgrades as it progresses. We're excited to have you with us, and if you like what you're listening to, please consider donating to our podcast or rate and review our show. Our theme music was written by Joseph Weatherford, and today's musician is George Walkington. If you'd like your musical talents to be featured on an upcoming episode, email me for the sheet music or simply find it on our website. We'd like to express our gratitude to our head of wigs, Doug DeBug. If you want to be recognized as a stage assistant like them, just give us a five-star review on any platform, Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, or wherever else you can. Mercury Theater Podcast is 100% listener-supported. Therefore, I certainly can't neglect to thank our patrons, Chad Bell, Ann Robinson, and Clay Colvin. If you like this podcast and want bonus content, consider supporting us on Patreon for as little as two bucks a month. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe or follow Mercury Theater Podcast on your podcast host of choice. Feel free to email us with words of support or hate mail at john at mercurytheaterpodcast.com. We genuinely love to hear from you. If you'd like to follow our socials, we're on pretty much all of them as Mercury Theater Podcast. And visit our website, mercurytheaterpodcast.com, which we maintain pretty religiously. Find all the links to these and more in the show notes. If you're a patron, stay tuned for the outtakes and the behind the scenes. Our upcoming extra episode features some talents from the audio drama The Call of the Void, which premieres June 14th. Stay tuned, stay sane. Until then, I'm John Badger. Now what?